Good morning. My name's Steve Matteo. I'm the chair of the uh, Committee on Standards and Ethics. been joined today by my colleagues Vanessa Gibson, Margaret Chin, and Karen Kozowitz. Today we'll be holding a second hearing and vote on proposed intro 1272A, whose primary sponsors are Council Members Barry Grudenchik and Mark Levine, in relation to amending the reporting and donor disclosure requirements for organizations affiliated with elected officials. This bill was previously heard by the committee on December 3rd, 2018. As was discussed at our prior hearing, the council passed a law last session establishing re reporting requirements on donations for all organizations affiliated with elected officials. It also required that any organization that spends more than 10% of its expenditures on elected official communications is subject to a restriction on the donations it can receive from persons doing business with the city. While the basic structure of that law has so far seemed to be well balanced, we took testimony at our last hearing from unrestricted organizations about the administrative burdens that complying has created for them. These are organizations that are not involved in elected official communications, but who are still subject to the law's reporting requirements. Proposed intro 1272A would address those concerns by creating separate reporting requirements for restricted and unrestricted organizations. Restricted organizations would continue with current reporting requirements as they, are, as they are under the existing law with a few clarifications to strengthen those requirements. Unrestricted organizations will be required to report on all donations from a single contributor that were an aggregate in the prior year above $5,000, a dollar threshold first adopted by the Conflicts of Interest Board pursuant to an advisory opinion. Provisions would also be made for the reporting of anonymous donations. The bill would also require that the information in these reports be posted to the Conflicts of Interest Board's website in a machine-readable format. Proposed intro 1272A would be deemed to have been retroactively in effect as of January 1st, 2019. I want to thank the members of this committee and the sponsors of this bill for their work on these issues. I also want to thank the staff who worked to put today's hearing together, Serena Longley, Deputy General Counsel, Brad Reed, Assistant Deputy Director, Michelle Lee, Senior Legislative Counsel, Ben Smith, Assistant General Counsel, and Rob Newman, Counsel to the Speaker. And at this point, we're gonna ask Billy, uh, Billy Martin to call the roll. Billy Martin, Committee Clerk, Roll Call Vote, Committee on Standards and Ethics, Introduction 1272A, Chair Matteo. Aye. Gibson. Aye. Chin. Aye. Kozlowitz. By vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, item is adopted by the committee. We're just gonna hold the, uh, the roll open for 15 minutes, thank you. <laughs> 